children of Palau, I take this pledge as your guest to preserve and protect your beautiful and unique island home. They reached out to us and said we have a huge influx of tourists since 2015. They didn't have the infrastructure set up to properly look after what all of the, the, the cumulative impact of these tourists was and they, the biggest part of the brief was we don't want to stop these tourists coming, we can't, it's really important to our economy, but we need to educate them so that they can become aware of the collective impact that they have placed on the, the environment of Palau. Kind of two parts I, I, I would say to the pledge. The first part is that it is the world's first environmental pledge that's stamped into the passport of, of every visitor. The second part is that it needed to make a human connection and by making it a promise to the children of Palau, it became one of those ideas that could just cut through all the guards that people might have because it's just a very different message to the usual laws and finger wagging that other countries might convey to inbound tourists. I just think the pride that people have in the campaign has been immense. There's a lot of people in the agency that worked extremely hard on this campaign for a long time and I think that, that shows in the output that it's really been crafted with love. From the beginning, part of our approach was knowing that we weren't going to have the media budget to reach the tourist markets uh, around the world. And then when that was offset against the fact that the problem of mass tourism, unsustainable tourism, is a global problem and there are countries dealing it with it all around the world, we knew that if we were able to tap into something there, then this would be something that would resonate all around the world because they're all experiencing that problem. I think the main thing that people have talked to me about when they talk about Palau Pledge is that it's nice to see something do well here that is doing something good in the world. To be able to have a global stage to showcase projects like that and maybe new directions or new ways of applying the skills that we have in our industry to problems that exist outside of our industry. I think there's a lot of a lot more unlocked and untapped potential in our industry to do things like that.